Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at where not in and where not in strict. Two very similar methods, but I'll show you the difference. So let's start with our first example. Let's return, collect, and have an array. And inside our array, we're going to have some products. So my first product is going to be apples and it's gonna have a price of 50. And then let's have some pears, bananas, finally, some coconuts. Let's change the price here, 50, 60, 70, 80. So let's call where not in. And let's talk about this for a second. Where not in, we'll take two parameters. The first one being the key that we're gonna be comparing to, and the second one, an array of things that we wanna remove. So in our example, let's look at pricing. Say that I wanted to remove everything that was $60 and everything that was $80. So I would pass in 60 and 80. So let's check out the results. And there you go. We got apples and bananas because obviously those two items are not 60 or 80. If I changed apples to 60, then of course those would drop out. So it will look at every item inside this array and however many times it finds it, it will remove it. Now let's take a look at we're not in strict and let's check out the results. So we're back to our full collection. It's actually not doing anything. The reason being that we are passing in 60 as an integer and 80 as an integer. However, all of the prices here are wrapped in single quotes, which make them string. Now, whenever we switch over to strict, things get a little bit more strict, as the name would suggest. So we would actually have to pass in 60 as a string and 80 as a string in order for it to work the way you would expect it to. So in the dynamic nature of PHP, a 60 as an integer and a 60 as a string both represent the same thing. However, if that's not okay for your project, make sure you use strict. Now to drive this point home a little bit more, I do wanna show you another example here. What if we added a couple of spaces and then we added dot zero zero zero. We see that apples and pears both got added back in. The reason being that, of course, 60.000 with three spaces in the front does not equal 60. However, if you just used where in, let's check out the difference. You see that apples and pears are both gone. It is matching that. So keep that in mind. Every project's different. Some you may need to use strict, and in most of the times, you wouldn't. Now, the last thing I do want to show you is that we're not in and we're not in strict both return a brand new collection. So let me show you that collection equals that and then we're going to call the method on that variable and then I'm going to return collection and let's check out the results. So we're back to our original result. The reason being again we're not in and we're not in strict neither of them actually do anything to the original collection rather they return a brand new collection. So if you needed to save that you could save that to a brand new variable we'll say new collection equals that and then we're going to return new collection. And sure enough, we're back to where we were before. So keep that in mind whenever you're using we're not in and we're not in strict. Now one final final note, there is a we're in and we're in strict. And both of those I covered in a separate video. So check that out if you're interested in those.